you can put it anywhere. Small in size, yet powerful in performance. SPI LED controller was developed specifically for installations where you need single yet powerful device that can fit into tight spaces. It's also great in case you want to trigger animations by the EMX protocol from your console or control table. It was always meant to be a single standalone device. We are however eager to help our customers and we had to this request one time. Can we synchronize multiple devices? Sure you can, just let us figure out how to do that. Today we are working with 4 SPI LED controllers. In this video I will show you how to export the effect to multiple SD cards, each containing only part of the animation. Each one has SD card inside and each card contains only part of the animation. As you can see, turning the animations on one by one by hardware buttons on each device results in a big mess. The next one, however, is synchronized. This pixel controller has ports for DMX in and out. It means that you can daisy chain more controllers and trigger them all from a single device. Let's say these are the effects I want to play on my pixels. I have my mapping ready. These four strips each represent one quarter of the rectangle that I am using in this tutorial. One segment has 1024 LEDs. Each strip has to be assigned to the IP address, which represents a single SPI controller. With a plus button I add new address or device and drag and drop first strip. I'll repeat the process with all four strips. Now that we have our map almost ready, we can export first part of the animation to an SD card. To export complete bank of effects, click on export bank with LNT files extension. Select first IP address. A good idea would be to write down which IP address is which strip. Now you have to generate a settings file for each controller. In settings, go to other and click on LSS SPI settings. Select the type of the strip. It is important to set the same starting DMX address for all devices. In our case, 1. You can also set up the starting animation, brightness of the animation, its speed and if it should repeat. Click on export and select the SD card. You can double check the content of the card for animations and most importantly for settings file. Now you have to daisy chain the devices. Use DMX out on the first device and continue to second one, and so on. Then connect first controller with your DMX signal source. This can be your control panel or any device capable of generating DMX. Then you can start to play the effects. First channel, as you can see, controls brightness. Second, select animation. And the third controls speed. It's not flawless, but good enough for simple animations. You can also use our software and controller to trigger animations by VMX, but I have to warn you. This solution is a bit more complicated. Some might even say a lot more complicated. But I will show it to you anyway and you'll decide what you think. Instead of going to console, you will connect the first SPI controller to our LATS3 controller, which is connected to PC via Ethernet cable. In mapping, you will search for this controller and add new analog strip into the same mapping and move it to a DMX table. Position the strip in the table, so that the starting DMX address is 1. Add new strip effect, select the analog strip, add animation, double click in the white rectangle and click on set color. 
you are now not setting up the color of the strip itself, you are only setting the DMX values that will trigger the effect from SD card. So, as mentioned before, first channel controls brightness, second one will trigger the animation that you will pick, and third one controls speed of the animation. Name the effects in order to keep track. 